If you want to be a successful blogger or YouTuber or anything online and build an influence, you need to be able to gain some social media traction. And if you're one of those people who have never in your life created one of those pinnable images or you don't have that graphical design or feel, then this video is exactly for you. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com and in today's video, we're going to do a quick overview of a app sumo deal for relay that which i purchased about a year ago or uh, several several months ago and it's back up on app sumo now and i just want to give you an overview of my time with it what i use it for and why i recommend it for you guys today so let's go ahead and quickly review the app sumo uh, page here so essentially for 49 dollars, you get lifetime access there i don't know how you put a price value on lifetime access since it should be going on in perpetuity but regardless you get lifetime access to this tool um, I think it's a great tool. Uh, you, uh, you can make unlimited projects, unlimited image downloads, so many different things. You can stack additional deals. I just got one deal and I'm happy with that. I don't know why you would need additional accounts, but if you have clients or things like that, you may want to get some additional accounts. Let's quickly take a look at the pricing for the tool itself. So this tool here is $25 per user per month. And so if you think about it, if you're taking the risk of, I think the $49 on AppSumo, it's a two month cost for life. Um, I definitely think this is a no brainer deal. Let me show you several of the uses that I use uh, Relay that for. So here I am in one of my accounts. You can see here essentially what this is, is an image photo editor, optimizer, all sorts of cool things. You have up here the ability to create multiple brands which have their own color scheme. So for example, if I, let's pull up a layout here. So let's just go quickly to an ad. Let's say we wanna make a Facebook ad here. You don't have to start from scratch. You don't need to have graphical design skills and you can still make some pretty nice looking ads. So let's say, for example, I like this one here. Um, it's got a certain color scheme that this is kind of loaded into this theme for born to go. But if I go over to nine to five, for example, the colors are going to be entirely different, um, different logos, different everything, because this is a different brand. So you don't need to kind of keep all your color palettes together. You can just separate them out into different, if you have different blogs or different things you do, um, it's a really convenient way to kind of keep your branding on point. So let's see what else we can do here. So let's say, for example, I want to run a Facebook ad for a travel agency for somebody who's visiting London. So you can go in and anywhere you want to if you wanted to kind of update this text here so let's say take london tour today that looks nice right that pops pretty well we can add a border over here just by clicking on the border and all these are kind of pre-laid out and pre-configured and what's amazing about this is when i first purchased this deal i wasn't so keen on relay that and the reason for this was if you had, let's say, a long title you wanted to uh, write in this location here, it would just kind of scrunch the text or squ squish the text, and it wouldn't kind of spread out over the area that it had to work with. I wanted a bit more control, but I didn't have the ability to kind of drag and drop and resize different elements that were on the images. Well, all that uh, frustration is gone now with a recent update within Relay That, which is probably why they're going on AppSumo again. But now take a look at this. So let's say if this is even more and let me add some text here and get 50 percent off your first guest okay well that actually does a really good job of fitting it in the location but what's cool about this is now you have full design control so you get these pre-built layouts where like 80 percent of the work is done for you but if you need to tweak a couple of things now you have the ability to drag and increase the sizing and do a number of cool things without any real muss or fuss what you can also do which I really like is let's say we want to really focus on this get 50% off uh, text over here. I'm going to put some brackets around get 50% off and then look what happens. It changes the font. It changes the coloring. It changes even the side. Let me get off this right here again. It changes everything because it has what's called font pairs. So it has not only the primary font and font color, but you're also able to select a uh, focus. I think it's called a focus. Let me see what it's called here a font pair and so you even quickly like show like look how cool this is like if, if you're not a designer because i am not a designer i'll be the first to tell you like i could design something that looks kind of good here um i, I kind of like it so let's go ahead and keep this here uh you've got the different text settings all sorts of I mean, really really cool stuff you can do here uh let's go look at this button here so learn more so the button is linked to this text if you don't want the button boom the button is gone but if you want the button, here it is. And even with arrows, you've got three different options for arrows. Like, cool stuff, right? Like, I, I'm a 
big fan of this one. Even the three arrows, if you want to be like uber pushy. So let's be uber pushy here. And let's make this button a little bigger. And kind of center it over here. And change the text to get free ticket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't do anything with travel agents, but we're going to go with it. But now let's say, for example, uh, we want to duplicate, rinse, and repeat and do the same thing for France. So you don't have to go and find all these stock images for France or anything like that. Look how cool this is. I'm going to go here to the images tab and I'm just going to search for France. Bet you I'll get an Eiffel Tower. Where's my Eiffel Tower? There's my Eiffel Tower. Woo! Um, okay, so now we got all these images and check it out. So this image is probably really small text, but you can see this one came from Unsplash. This one came from Pexels. This one came from Pixabay. Da, 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 da. I think that's it. But imagine being able to aggregate all the stock images from like the most reputable stock image sources that are free for commercial use and have those at the ready. Like that's pretty cool. I'm going to take this one. I like this one. It's very nice. Just drag it over. You see it does its kind of magic to resize it, get it nice and tight. And then I can drag the image in perfectly. And like, this is a cool thing. I would, I would buy this. I would click on this ad and you can add overlays, which doesn't really seem to do a whole lot in this one. Like every layout's a little bit different, so you get to learn a little bit as you go, but this is a really cool image. And if you want to go ahead and keep this guy, you can either download it as a PNG or as a JPEG. Let's go PNG and just click download. And this will pull it up directly in your uh, image browser. So let's go ahead and just open this guy up. I'm not gonna rename it or anything. And now you have this image that is yours and ready to go and ready to use. Like this is pretty cool, right? So that's one big use. I mean, using it for ads is pretty awesome because you know, making sure you have the right image is like critical when you're running ads. Um, so even, uh, like, let me show you this. So even this button here, I'm sorry, I'm a little spastic today. Let's say I want to change the design. I can quickly change the design of the, uh, the button, the size, everything. And there's no coding. There's no remembering hex codes. You set it up once and you're good to go. So for example, we can go to our workspace assets up here and set, you know, a lot of little images and icons and things that can be used anywhere. And you can also set all the different colors that would show up for this particular brand. Again, if we switch the brand, let's just go to clean. I don't even know what this one is. All sorts of crazy stuff from my little uh, crazy projects and totally different organization for every separate brand. Love it. Um, so what are some of the things that I use this for. So let's go ahead and let's say I want to make a featured image for a blog post. I can come here. It's not going to be under the ads, but you can see some of the different ads here. So like perfectly designed ads for skyscrapers or half of the page. And like this is made to make an ad, like pretty cool. But if I wanted to go to other, I can see here I've got blog posts, banners, audio covers, video stills. So even like YouTube video covers are perfect for that. A ton of different designs. But let's, I said we want to do a blog post, so we'll do a blog post real quick. And now let's just scroll through here and see what some of our options are. You know, it looks a little busy up front, but when you get into it, you can do a lot of changes to it as you go. Um, I'm kind of digging this one. So we'll take this guy here because now we have icons and photos here. Like This is pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I would probably change this text to white if I were doing this for real. But what I can also do is maybe let's add some uh, fade out to this background image. So if I click on the background image, I get additional editor options for the image. I can either make the image larger or smaller, which is pretty fantastic. I can also blur the image like that immediately by blurring that image. I've made my brand name stick out a little bit more. But let's do a couple things as well. Let's go ahead and look at, uh, let's do like a sepia. Mm, not a big fan. Black and white, mm, it's okay. What if I were to, I'm looking for, let's do a fade. So you got all these different one click edits to the photos, which really, really helps. You can also do an overlay on top of it, which that seriously helps bring out the color of uh, the text there. So now we've got something I can very easily see. All right, let's say I don't like the stripe. I can change the stripe or, or remove the stripe or change the color right here. Now, remember, if I change it here, it's also going to change that specific stripe asset color across any other um, size I'm using. But I like this. This looks kind of cool. So we'll keep that. I've got a blank icon here. So one option is I can remove the icon altogether and remove that shape or even kind of just keeping the, the shape is kind of cool. But let's say I want to have like a... Um, an icon of let maybe an airplane. I'm gonna search for airplane under the icon section. 
Hmm, kind of nice. So again, all these are free for commercial use. The challenge with this is it's kind of hit or miss. Like obviously the styles are all different. You got some glyphs, you got some outlines, you've got some colors. I kind of like this guy. I'll just drag him in. And now boom, that looks pretty good. I like it. Um, so now this would be a great blog post. Let's just change the title real quick and call it uh, Essential Tips for New France Travelers. And then I've got complete walkthrough is a, a second text I can include. So if I click this guy, oh, look at that. So now that text actually shows up on top of the icon. Not a big fan. So it's as easy as clicking it off. Or I believe I can go ahead and move this guy over here and maybe like this, like overlapping a little bit. And what if I make this complete walkthrough accent text? See, I'm not a designer, but that looks kind of cool. I kind of like it. What's even better about this, though, is that when you make a blog post, you're not done, right? Like Pinterest is so good for organic search and organic traffic to new blogs. So you want to have a pinnable image. Well, I would be pulling my eyes out if after every blog post, I had to go and make a completely new image from scratch for a different aspect ratio. So check this out down here. I think you can see where we're going with this is down here underneath the image you worked with. You have some additional options to uh, change it around. Let me see here. I'm going to click on resize. So down here, looks like these aren't exactly the same. They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. So I can do a 1080 by 1920, which honestly, this is not the same image as the other one. So let me just remove this photo, remove that photo. Hmm. That's a little bit different than what I was expecting. Uh, let me show you a different example here. Let's, uh, let's go back to layouts and I normally start with like a YouTube thumbnail. So let's go with this guy, for example. All right, so it's the same text, a slightly different uh, styling. It's got a button here, but still very similar overall. So I like this one. Um, if I wanted to then take this, which would work really well for a blog post, I can quickly and easily find a Pinterest um, aspect ratio of 800 by 1200. And boom, now I can just make some minor adjustments. You know, move the Eiffel Tower over there, maybe move my name over somewhere else you, you get the idea move it over there or remove it all together and maybe remove the button on pinterest but you've got a fully functioning um and let's make this actually make this the orange color so now that has a better contrast i suppose i don't know like i said i'm not a designer but a lot of different options here so being able to take one image and mess with the layout and adjust the layout back and forth. You can even save the ones that you like that you want to come back to most frequently. You've got this little heart over here where you can see what you've used in the past and what you like to come back to. And so that makes, um, you know, if you, if you have a certain brand, you want to keep your images on brand. So this tool really helps you in doing that. Uh, one of the other things I like this for just for kind of time saving is actually compressing the images for me. So what you can do, you can go to Unsplash and you can download a photo that ends up being like seven megabytes. And then you can take that photo and put it into an image compressor and then do all that work and yada, yada. And then finally put it into your blog post, right? Well, obviously you don't need to do that anymore uh, with this tool. We can come here to the other options here, which took me a little while to find this, but you just go to crop photo. And when you go to crop photo, um, let's just go ahead and pick one of these. Let's say I want to put like a nice little, what is this? 25. Oh, that's a pretty big image there. Um, let's find a, that's a pretty good blog post or kind of top of the, I don't know. It's a pretty big image there, but if we want to use this image and let's go ahead and find something different here. If we want to use that aspect ratio, but then let's search for like surfer, just something totally different. And this will quickly pull up a bunch of different surfer images here. I like this one. It's pretty cool. I used to surf, probably not that well. So now we have this image here. We can adjust it around as we want to, and uh, we can do any editing we want as well. So for example, we can go ahead and blur it. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Let's saturate it. Hue 90 degrees, invert. Okay, that's, uh, that's creepy. Let's just go to um, vignette. Okay, looks kind of cool, kind of retro. So now for a photo, I like to download those as uh, JPEGs to save image size. If I were to download this from Unsplash or from wherever this particular image came from, it would be megabytes and megabytes large. But simply by finding it, putting in the correct aspect ratio and downloading it, I could pull this image up and it is 
145 kilobytes, that is perfectly acceptable to put into a blog post and not affect your loading speed too much. If you have an additional you know, short pixel or smush or one of those plugins that can reduce the size of your images, obviously that can work well together with this, but this does all the heavy lifting for you without ever having to have a plugin do the work as well. Um, you can obviously also upload your own images here. So if we have a picture, for example, this is a picture from my uh, one of my children. I don't know which child anymore. Uh, one of my children's uh, baptisms, which is a raw photo. It looks like a 14 megabyte photo. Uh, but if you have a photo that's underneath 10 megabytes, which most of your photos should be, let's take this guy, for example, little AB split test icon. You can also you know, pull those into your layouts wherever you choose. So for example, if we want to do um, a Facebook cover. Oh yeah, this is another cool feature. I like this one. So if you pull out like a Facebook cover, you know, you have your profile picture on Facebook here. You have some other stuff that's kind of out of view here. And then you have this up here, which can be out of view in certain aspect ratios on certain devices. What Unsplash does is it also like it puts the guides there. So this is the image, right? But this is how it's going to look when it's on Facebook. So that can just save you a lot of time when you're kind of creating uh, that design for yourself. So let's say for this backdrop, I'm going to go to my uploads and drag my split testing icon to the backdrop to this image. And I can move it around a little bit as well. Pretty cool, right? So if you like this, if you struggle with images like I do, it's okay. There are tools like that for people like us. And go ahead and go to incomemesh.com slash relay that. Let me just show you how that's spelled out here. You can go to incomemesh.com slash relay that. And that will take you to this AppSumo deal. It dropped a few days ago. And here it is. Go ahead and check it out. I would recommend just go ahead and get it and try it out for 60 days. You have 60 days, um, no questions asked. I have refunded quite a few AppSumo deals. It just weren't quite for me, but this is one that I would feel really bad for if it <laughs> if it comes through and I don't pick it up and I continue to struggle with images for the rest of my life. So go ahead and grab it and leave a comment in below if you like this tool or if you've even been aware of this recent update because it really has been a game changer for it. Um, again, if you like my stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.